This is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood. Coming to you live on Sunday. I believe it's February 21st, 2021. And as you can see, I'm not outside ready to work. I'm inside ready to talk because I know a lot of pe people like to hear me talk. But I know a lot don't. We'll get into that later. But what I want to do in this video is I got a package here that we're going to be unboxing. What's going on, Paul Wagner? Is Fred here yet? We got this package to open up. But I'm not going to do it until we have at least 50 viewers. There's Chris Bishop. Hey, Chris, you like my hoodie today? What do you think? Who's going to win the basketball game today, Chris? Anyway, we got that package to open. There's Colleen. Colleen's here. We got the fire going. starting to warm up. There's uh, Larry Hoddle. Outdoors with Eric is here. Morning, Jim Richards. No, not go Bucks. There's, there's Valez. Yeah, so uh, another thing we're going to do is I, I ran up to the... I just got back from the store and I bought, bought uh, my, my newspaper for five bucks. But when I got back, here's the morning newspaper. Where's the, where's the front page, Grandma? It's in here somewhere. Here's, the, here's today's paper. That's today's day. Oh, there's, there's Tom Waddle. Tom Waddle's in the house, Grandma. Here, no, say, there's Herb. Hi, Herb. Say, say, say hi, Tom. Hi, Herb. Hi, Tom. Hi, Herb. How you doing? Yep, so now she's doing her her Facebook. But, uh, yep, we're going to be, uh, there's firewood at the furnace. That's what Brad, uh, Brad out in Maryland. Nice of you to join us. But the other thing I'm going to do is I got a customer that wants a cord of wood. But he wants a cord, so he probably won't buy it from me, but he has a 616 area code, so he might be near Herb. I might give him to Herb. So I'm going to make that phone call here in a few minutes. We'll get some people on the watching. I want to get my computer set up so I can talk to you guys. But I just wanted to do that, so I might as well put it on the, uh, the tripod right now. We're up to 29 watching. There's David. So let me get this on here and then get the, uh, the laptop the laptop fired up and then i can talk to you there but uh it's starting to warm up by all oh, you can see my drink here i left that out in the barn last night there's a saw surgeon and uh it, when i went out went to the store it was 16 degrees what's going on mike conklin i think it's up to uh it was up to 18 maybe 20 and it's supposed to actually get above freezing here today so let me get find a good spot for this yeah what's in the box Ma place your bets make some guesses we're gonna find out here i know what's in the box um a guy contacted me his name's brock from uh b ray farms in manchester michigan which i'm not sure where that is and he's contacted me about a month ago and uh it finally showed up today, so I'll get you. There it is. Get get an idea of the length. Make your guesses. I think we need to throw another piece on the fire. Going through it pretty quick. Hope you guys are staying warm. You get your fire going yet, Colleen? You have Frank do it today. But, get that green wood going. Won't burn. It's junk. So everybody says, oh, we're up to 37. Well, we get over 50, we're opening that thing. But uh, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, should we call this guy? Wait for a few more people to get in. I'll pull up your comments here. Because I'm going to call the guy and see what he has to say. Here. Oh, you're in Rockford? Eight, eight degrees in Rockford, backyard firewood? I had to send a little message. There, now I can just look up and talk to you, but if I'm gonna, the only way I can see what you're saying, or know what you're saying, is to look down at the screen. So 
I don't, I don't have like a big flat screen behind it where I can read the comments and actually look at the lens while I'm talking. So I'm going to have to look up and down, up and down. Let's see. Who are we calling? Uh, a guy, let's see, his name's Keith. He left a message on my phone or on the landline when I got here, a new potential customer. And uh, he said he wanted a cord of firewood. So like I said, we get up to, we get up to 50 viewers. I'll give him a call. And then we'll open this up. I don't want this sitting sitting too close to the fireplace and get knocked over. We'll set it there for now. But uh let's see who let's see who's here. Oh T and J's here. Uh living the dreams here. Let's see the senior Larry Hoddle. Oh there's uh Al you're gonna wanna uh, I'll just give it a hint. Al's gonna wanna see what's in this box. Logger Al. So stay tuned for that. Well, we got 55 already. I was going to wait till we got 50 for this. I didn't think it would happen that quick. So, <clears throat> let me uh, show you how to do uh, some JPF sales charm. You can watch me how I uh, lock down a sale or not. I'm guessing he's not going to buy because he said he wants a full cord. Usually people that want a cord don't want it. Unless he doesn't know what he's talking about and he means a face cord. So let's give him a call. You guys watch and learn. That's how you run a business. Here we go. Let's see if he answers. Maybe I should put him on speaker. All right, it's ringing. Hey, Keith. This is Joe. Joe's Premium Firewood. Good. How are you this fine Sunday morning? Trying to stay warm. Yep, yeah, yeah, I got a message here looking for uh, some firewood. Well, well, let's figure out what you want first, because you just say a cord. I mean, it could be boiler wood, bundles, meat smoking wood. What do you have? What do you burn with? You have a fireplace or what? You have an indoor fireplace. Okay. Okay, yeah, because like if I start assuming, you know, and I've, I've showed up at people's houses with regular cordwood and they have an outdoor wood boiler and the cordwood's like twice as much expensive as a boiler wood. And, and now now when you say a cord, are you, uh, you mean a true full cord, a stack that would be 24 feet long by eight foot tall, or, or are you talking about a face cord, full cord? Okay, um, and you need delivery? And where are you located? Al Alto. Okay. I, I know where Alto is. It's like by the Ford Airport, kind of. A little, somewhere in there. Okay. Um, well, now I sell the wood. I, I sell it basically by the truckload. Because that because that's how I transport it. The wood is like in mass, massive piles. Or we like split right into the truck. We go out and find standing dead dry trees uh, like uh, ash or black locust or oak you know that's sparkless ready to burn because i i can't uh i can't store 500 face cords a year here we'd have to cut down all our trees so it, but it's right it's ready to burn yeah i mean if you, if you ever cut firewood or you know what i'm talking about where you know the dry like if it's a green tree it needs a year to to be cut stored in a straight line and uh set for a year or so you know facing south and whatnot but that's what i have uh the most wood that that uh we can transport i can get into the truck if we stack it we can get like a half of a cord in the truck bed and it's cut like 16 inches long on average and split into like four to six inch pieces and uh and we stack it in there about a, a at least a foot above the sides and then that's a half cord. So, so uh, just for that wood, just for the wood, it's two hundred dollars because it takes all, all that time to stack it into the truck. And we can only bring a half cord at a time. And up in Alto is like thirty miles from me, so you're looking at like a fifty dollar delivery fee. And then that would just be half your load. So it would take two trips, and it would be. Five hundred dollars total. That's how I do it. I, I mean, I set like I say, I sell five hundred 
500 bass chord a year, which is 175 chords. And I got campgrounds and stuff. And uh, but that's how it. That's what it is. And I got to deliver some tomorrow. And I delivered nine loads last week. So if you want to get on my schedule, or if you, uh, what do you think? I, I know, I know, it's not cheap, but you know what? Cheap firewood isn't quality, and quality firewood isn't cheap. So I mean, these are all perfect pieces, and like I say, I, I get it. it. There's people out there that sells it for $150 a cord. You know, of course, it's probably going to be pieces that are 10 inches long to 24 inches long, and uh, could be green. Who knows? But uh, like I say, this is black locust. That's most likely what you're going to get. And it's top notch, but it is it isn't cheap. I, I, I'm not I'm not going around saying I'm the cheapest guy around. I'm just saying I'm the, the highest quality. So then you just have to base your opinion on that. I mean, if you got to ask your wife or whatever, you know, uh, or you want to look around more, that's fine too. Like I say, I I I I'm in my slowest time of the year. I sell more in the summer than I do in the winter because of, of all the campers and the caveman TV. I got I got a campground that buys about 1500 bundles from me a year so that's like uh i don't know 15 full cords or something like that and i struggle to struggle to find find dry wood for them um i mean i and right now you try going out in the woods in knee deep snow and cutting and tell me how easy it is it, so uh, i mean and that that's the problem we're facing right now none of my guys can cut we can't get in the woods it's too cold I got a built up of uh, a, and a wood here that, you know, if you want to save the delivery fee, get one of your buddies in the truck and come pick it up. You know, you can save the 50 bucks, but you, you know, keep in mind you're going to be doing, you know, two hours of your time plus your gas. So it, it all, it all adds up. And, and right now, and right now my truck died. So I got to get with my uh, help, log supplier, Darren, uh, or my brother, and they help me with the deliveries. Um, so, but it might be better for you to pick up. Okay. I would have to, I would have to get with Darren. I know he's, we're doing one tomorrow, but he's got like, uh, he's taking classes at KVCC. He's got to have surgery on his finger. So I don't know when his schedule is. I could probably get you in. Maybe if you just want one half cord next week, we could uh, get you taken care of with that and see how it goes from there. You know, like I say, I, I've delivered, you know, people from like 65 miles away from me, they pay me like $300 for a half cord because the farther you are away, the more I got to charge for the delivery. You want to go ahead and do one? Okay. I, 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 yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to get with Darren. I mean, he's coming up tomorrow um, and we're doing a delivery to Middleville. Um, if he's got time, we could come back here and load you up with one and uh, and bring it to you. But I, I, this is our landline. I'm talking to you on a rotary phone right now. But uh, I'm gonna, I'll, in a little while, I'll get a hold of Darren. I'll get back to you. I'll send you a text from my cell phone, and then you know I'll get your address and we'll coordinate it from there. It, it like I say, the earliest possible would probably be tomorrow. So, all right, Keith. I'll get back to you and we'll go from there, okay? Thank you. Yep. Bye. Bam! Told you. You guys taking notes? Anybody taking notes? Very professional. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Jeremiah Haas. That's how you do it. Locked it in. I didn't think he was going to do it. He was like hesitating. Uh, uh. Well, guess what? Nobody's got any wood, and the only wood they can get is to go out in the woods and get it. Well, how are you gonna go out in the woods and get it? Oh, Big Rodders is here. What's going on? Oh, is Shy here? Shy here? You guys learned anything on that? I'll have to, I'm gonna go back and just check some of these comments. Oh, Perryville, Missouri, huh? It, oh, man, I've been getting all kinds of calls. I had a guy message me from Texas yesterday, and uh, I've had a call from somebody in Kansas City this week. It's been a busy week, you know. We started the week out by delivering to the homeless, and then uh, we had two other two other deliveries on on Monday. 
And then we had three on Wednesday where we had to go through the people's driveway that wasn't plowed and almost got stuck even with four wheel drive. And then, uh, and then Friday we delivered three more loads. And then I had Darren, but cause I'm the middle man, I buy the firewood from everybody else. And then I'm the middle man. I go, see, like I say, people find me and then I figure out who's going to buy it. You know, theoretically I could do this nationwide if I could, uh, you know, trust the people and trust that they can make quality firewood. Like my current suppliers, like Herb and Jeff and Darren, Riff Raff, I still got to inspect all their loads. They brought me a load last night. They had all the dry wood on top. I just went out there and looked at it and then there's like semi-seasoned oak right in there. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm about ready to cut them loose until, if they can't find me quality wood. How many we got watching out? 81, 81. Well, we're, not, we're how long into the video? About 20 minutes in. People are probably, people are probably wondering what's in the box. What's in the box? We're gonna have to open it here in a minute. I said I'd wait for 50 people. We got 81. I wanted to wait about a half an hour in, so 10.30, 10.30 will open, I promise. Now some of this is melted. It's almost solid ice in there. That's why I got it right next to the right next to the stove. Okay, let's see. Oh, Stacy's here. And uh, oh, Adam, he's in Livonia. So where where is Manchester, Michigan at? I'm not I, I'm not sure. Is it near Detroit? At, Jackson somewhere over there. I, I, I'm not sure. Somebody tell me where it is. That's where this package came from. Is Larry Cluck here? I haven't seen him yet. Larry, Larry Evans is. Oh, 31 degrees, Tommy. That's a, that's warming up there. It's supposed to get over 33 degrees today. So we had three more inches since the, the snow the other day. But nothing has melted. It has, it's been three weeks since it's been above freezing. But we're supposed to have a couple 40 degree days coming up this week. Might be a good time for me to go over to Herb's and uh, make a video. Or Darren actually invited me down to his honey hole yesterday. He's just telling me it's full of black locusts. But he's, he was talking about buying this like handheld powered uh, <clears throat> winch. It's like gas powered. And, uh, and so he wouldn't have to mount something like his truck. And because he can't get to the logs, he, he said he had to shovel his way in to get to where the logs were. Screw that. But he, he said he cut four, four loads of black locusts. So he's building up his inventory. And he invited me down there yesterday, but then um, I got a call from a customer down by him in Kalamazoo. She wanted a face cord, and then, she's, and then she said, Oh, well, I'll go with a, a, a half a truckload. I go, Well, it's going to be $100 just for that. It's my minimum to deliver. And then she goes, well, we'll just go with the, uh, with the uh, full, full face cord or full truckload. And uh, <clears throat> so I got a hold of him, and by 2 o'clock, he had it stacked on their, I posted a picture of it yesterday, had it stacked on their patio by the windows. I know a lot of people say, oh, don't put it next to the windows. Don't put it next to the windows. But that's where the customer wanted it, and the customer's always right, right? But uh, let's see. Oh, open the package, right? Hey, you know how that goes, Eric got to keep people waiting but I, I will do it at, at 10 30 which is in five you got five minutes you can wait five minutes Eric but um hey Eric thanks for uh, posting my videos you know dude on Facebook I, right now I'm up almost 6,000 followers which more than the, the more than uh subscribe to this channel it's uh, like at 58 something and that, and I, I had like a 1200 three weeks ago and then my brother's video went viral, you know, but I got the jump start because out, outdoors with Eric. So check out his channel. He does firewood and he has a hell of a problem with trespassers and he's got some great land and he's got ash trees that I can cut there. So as soon as the snow's gone, I'm going to go down and cut down there, Eric. Okay. And, uh, I don't know about your golf cart holding a uh, hauling the wood out, but might have to get that, uh, what was that the, the Can-Am Defender back. That would go through the snow. Now it's not overkill. 52 in, 52 in Ireland, that's not too bad, Big Rodders. Uh, 
Hey, Corey Classman, thanks for joining. I see uh, see Iowa won the other day. They beat, was that Wisconsin? Well, who, who do you got in today's game? Michigan or Ohio State? Got three minutes, three minutes to do the, uh, do that. But well, here, you guys seen the back of my, you seen the back of the, the JPF hoodie. Oh. I was thinking about having a Red Wings one night for Darren. Has Darren showed up here yet? Tons of ash. That's what I like, Eric. Tons of ash. And I'm sure some of them have fallen down since I've, I've been there last. I mean, and I haven't been there in about, what, 10 months? It was like in, I think, March or April of last year was like the last time I was there. So, um, yeah, we'll definitely head out there and get some cut, make some videos, and do that. I'm sure, I, you know, I tried live streaming down there, but a couple times but you're kind of in a black hole area where we lose the signal so i i'm not gonna I, I don't like it when it goes in and out you know so two minutes to go two minutes till unboxing go bucks oh boo 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 it's at it's at ohio too but, but uh let's see that's what she said, yep. And uh, not too many cats in here right now. Oh, what's for uh, what's for dinner today, Grandma? Venison. Oh, guess what's for dinner today, folks? Venison steak. Do you eat venison steak, Eric? You got give her a thumbs up if you guys like venison steak. Let's see how many likes we got. Twenty-seven. With two haters, two, and. Uh, Oh, firewood! Yeah, firewood at the furnace. You're you're in Maryland, right? So you're are you a Terps fan? Oh, you like venison. Steve likes venison. Scott likes venison. Larry likes it. Oh, there, 32, 33. There you go. You just get just that's where the thumbs up matter. Not in the chat. You gotta like get out or right when you join the video, hit that thumbs up right at the beginning, and then uh, then you don't have to worry about jumping out of the chat. <sighs> Well, it's 10.29. I think it's time to do some unboxing. Glasses. I should have washed my glasses. They're kind of dirty. But that's what you guys have been waiting for. I'm going to look and make sure you guys can see. Oh, yeah. So, like I say, B-Ray B -Ray Farms. B-Ray Farms in uh, Manchester, Michigan. Guesses. Shy here still. That's sharp. I guess it's not. It's a not a steel. It's called. Um, it's hard to see the lettering on it. Uh, Archer or something like that. To get a magnifying glass to read the, read the, read what's on there. But this is a uh, a twenty inch chain, and it's a. Uh, half chisel here let me see if I can get this untangled there's there's more in the box don't worry is anybody good at uh, untangling these I almost said I gotta set it down to get the you know you get those tangles in it I'm sure herb's probably good at it good at it I usually am, but I'm under pressure now being in the, on the camera. This one came out of, it, there's a box that it was in, but it's a brand new chain. It's half chisel, which I normally don't use, but it's good for dirty wood. 
So if I hit the dirt, you know, do I ever hit the dirt? It's good for that. Come on. You guys are laughing right now. I'm going to have to read the chat because I can't, you know, get it straightened out. I normally, normally I can when I got it on the workbench and it usually doesn't take this long. I might just have to do this later. Maybe I'll, I'll fiddle. I'll get the rest of the items out of the box. Fiddle with it later. Oh, here it is. Yeah. There. That's the brand. He wants me to test them out. Have you heard of this brand? Can you see it? Archer. <sighs> So this is this is a full chisel. Of course it's it's tangled up too. But uh if you don't know what full chisel and, and half chisel mean, like I say, it's got these little loops in it. Um let me put it up here just to explain people that don't know what a half and full chisel is. Um this edge right here is a corner. See that edge? It's a it's a cor like a sharp corner. See how that is? That is a full chisel. The half chisel. The half chisel. Let's see. Uh, it's rounded. It's, it has a rounded. See how it's rounded? It's not square bet you big rotters knew that i'm sure sure saw surgeon knows the difference see how it's rounded so there's two chains brand new check this baby out Lightweight. Anybody ever use this type of bar? Can you see the name? It's got this, the tip on it. You know, if you if you bust this, you can replace. You know, sometimes these these rivets, these rivets right here pop out, and then you just replace the tip. Made it. This one's made in Japan, I guess. But like I say, we're going to give it a try. Feels nice, that, you know. The last time, the last time that I, uh, I used my 20-inch bar, I was out with Darren at one of his honey holes. And this is like in November or December. And I was using the 20-inch bar, and I was cutting, and it started cutting, cutting at an angle. If you watch Buck and Billy Ray, it's not the chain. It's the bar that does that. And once it starts doing that, I just scrap it. So he, it, right, right, it was like the day that that died. He, uh, Brock at uh, B-Ray Farms, Manchester, Michigan, said, hey, uh, I, you want to test out one of my bars and, and uh, these archer chains? You might like them. And so we're going we're gonna to give it a shot in the upcoming video. Like I say, if I can ever figure out these untangled. I'm going to work on it here in a second, but uh, I mean, I could go do it today, and I don't even want to say give her a thumbs up to go do it today, because I don't want to go outside and knee deep snow, but if you want to set, if somebody sends me a $100 super chat, I'll go outside and use it today, but until then, it can wait, because I don't really want to do it, and it'll probably not be until Friday. If I can wait, you guys can wait till Friday, but I can be bribed, but let's see. Now, now I got now I got four of them on there. Maybe it's easier on the table here. Now place place your bets 
Do you think I could get these untangled before before the end of the end of the video? I think I'm onto something. Look at that! I did it! Give me a thumbs up. Clap your hands. There's the uh, there's the full chisel. We'll set that here. We'll set the bar there so people join can see what was in there. Or maybe I should wait and make them watch it, watch the replay. Oh, this one worked itself out. So you got two chains, two, two 20 inch chains. One's a half chisel, one's a full chisel. The full chisels cut faster, but they, they get dull faster. The half chisels are good for, uh, they're good for dirty wood, or if you're prone to hit the dirt like some people. Let's leave those there for now. I don't want to mix, get them mixed up. Let's check out, check out. <laughs> Give $100 to untangle it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you, you guys, I mean, right now, it, it's a chain, it, you know, this is going to go on the 460. But it looks uh, real high quality. It almost looks like it's, it almost looks like it's stainless steel, but I don't think it is. It's probably just the alloy steel that they have. But uh looks like a high quality bar. But, uh, yeah, I'll, like I say, I, I might go down to Darren's this week and uh, cut at his hunting hole, break it in there, put it on the 460. <clears throat> like I say, you normally just run uh, the uh, full chisel chains. Although, like I say, Ted, Ted Saw Surgeon, he, he says he can uh, hand file that just to be almost as fast as a uh, full chisel. Take a quick drink. <laughs> oh, and don't, don't let me uh, forget to... Uh, Call Keith back or text him because uh, if you start if you uh, have been watching since the beginning, you already know I had a had a guy call call when I was gone and uh, I called him back a new potential customer. He wasn't quite sure on the price, but you know I smooth talked him into buying from, from me. So at least a half cord. He wants a full cord, but let me let's get on this. Oh, that last video, Tom, or uh, T and J's Outdoors, the last live stream. We were right by the guy's house, and, and I, I could have found it. My brother was just freaking out. He just he gets so stressed when he drives, and he goes, "Let's call the guy." Well, I don't know his number, and I was using my phone, so when I I, I had to get out of the live stream and go and look up his number, and then when I came back, so I'm for some reason it just the screen went black. We could still hear what we were saying, but you couldn't see anything. I wish you could have seen us on motor. He had his wife down there helping us, and and that went pretty good. So that sucks that that happened. From now on, I'll I'll have his, his number written down, so I don't have to get out of uh, get out of the live stream. I flip my bars, Jay. I always flip my bars. Every time I change the chain, it's up, down, up, down. That's why sometimes you see it with a steel upside down and sometimes it's right side up I always always switch them and then when it gets a burr on the side this is just perfectly smooth real nice um, but when it gets a burr on it I use a die grinder and that might be part of the problem because I just eyeball it and do it by hand nothing you know not with a hand file a die grinder and it might put like a little bend on the on the uh, on the edge of the bar and then that cut you know when you're cutting like a big log and it starts going down that I'm sure other people have experienced it where it just starts cutting and, and curving instead of going straight up and down. It'll start turning. Once it starts doing that, I just I just scrap the bar. Let's see, we got 97 watching. So I have to read some of your comments so I can know what to say. What do you what do you think of it? Yeah, I never hit the dirt, Al. But what do you think of this bar? Have you have you ever heard of this uh, brand of bar, Lager Ale? <laughs> you had a Larry Cluck had a chain so tangled up, 
You, you had to you had to take it up. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Who did that? Oh my god. Now I gotta go work. I guess uh, Iron Oak wants to see this in action. Why'd you do that? Now I gotta go out and work. And I'll probably go cut down a, a, a tree stub too. But I ain't hauling it out because I, I don't think I can get out there with the quad. But I'll have to walk through knee deep snow. So I guess I gotta gear up, go to work. You guys can thank Iron Oak Sawmill. You can thank him for that. So uh, let me uh, I guess we're going to work, guys. We're going to work. Thanks a lot. He's criming. I'll go get a hat. I can't wear this. Too cold. So let's go find a nice hat to wear. Let's see. Which one? Got I got some got some JPF merch here. All kinds of hats, folks. I think we're gonna go since I'm wearing the blue one. We're gonna go with the blue one. You ever drink that back in the day? Some Jim Beam there, saw surgeon. You remember that? Came out in 1976. Unbelievable. And I thought I was gonna have an easy day. All right. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm not gonna use both chains. Let me let me see which one you which one you want me to put on there. You want the the full chisel or the half chisel? I'm gonna look at your look and see what you guys have to say on the comments, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put on which one you say. So, which one? Yeah, I asked for it there, Dean. Yeah, yeah. Why did I say that? I don't know. Now. Now I gotta, I gotta gear up. Thought it was gonna be easy Sunday. Now I gotta go cut a tree down. Yeah, we'll be cutting a tree down too, a stub. I was waiting for uh, Brittany to help me with it, but um, we're gonna do it today. That's all I got to cut, pretty much. Let me look at what. what so what chain do you want me to use? Let's see. Uh, oh, I'm grateful. But, uh, you know, it's going to test both. Man, that's a lot. You know, I think I think we're going to get, I'll, just, I'll make the decision. We're going to use, we're going to use a half chisel. Yeah, let's try that one out because uh, I, I hardly, I don't think I've ever had one. So there's the half chisel right there. So grandma's bringing in some firewood. She's starting to get low. She's getting cold. There's the one we're going to use. Here's the bar. Here All right. Let's get to work. I guarantee you this one isn't getting hung up, but it is a stub. And grab some gloves. Got these. So I'll just put those in my pocket for now because now I gotta uh, I gotta put this together. But this will be the half chisel and the new whatever this Tazama, however you say it, bar. So let's go out to the barn. Let's get this party started. I'm going to work, folks. 
I'm glad the door is open. Nice and bright out here. Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the king's the king's chains real quick. How he stores them. <sighs> Look at the king's collection of chainsaw chains. What do you think of that? I think he's got enough of them. He kept he kept buying new ones. He kept buying yeah yeah Paul knee deep. So those are all almost, he's got more over here too. He's got more on that back wall. I think this is dirty. I really should have cleaned it out. But I think it's all frozen on there, stuck on it. You guys see all right from there? A little bit closer. The mold chains get so stretched out, you gotta move the adjuster all the way back.
This workbench sure is handy. Probably should have put these nuts on first. A little bit tighter. I like it. I like it tight. See if I can move this, make sure it's not too tight. Oh, too tight. When I'm driving a tree, I like it to be tight. I don't want the chain being loose in there when it's go going sideways. Definitely need to put gas in it though, because it ran out. It ran out the last time I used it, which is what when I did that elm tree two, three, three weeks ago. Ran out of gas, and then I had to use the 291 to finish up the, the stump. Fingers are froze. So is this bar well. Real, real thick. I don't have a blue jug. I need to get one, but I think we're done with the real cold temperatures. These gloves on. I don't need them. I don't need my fingers now. At least for working on stuff. All right, we're just gonna walk back there. I'm not bothering with the with the quad. I'm not bothering with the quad because it's not that far back, and I'm not moving the wood today. It's just gonna sit. Oh. Why you guys let me forget my safety gear? Pam will be pissed if I was out there cutting without my, my helmet and my chaps. Most important thing at JPF, safety. Safety first. Trying to rush it, I guess. Can't, don't want to overlook, overlook the most important thing. Safety. You can put the chaps on. So at least the haters can't comment on about not wearing safety gear like they like to talk about.
I know Lovarell, he always wears this safety gear. Plus it's a brand new chain. Brand new half chisel chain. So it's going to be sharp. At least I hope so. I think it's going to be hopes any sharper than what I when I use this grinder to sharpen my chains. It's going to be sharper than what I can do. Warm up. All right, don't forget the saw. Don't forget the saw. I'll get on this side. I mean, we got watching now. Got 108. Want me to see, see me breaking this chain? All right. Yeah, we got more snow than you in Chicago, Paul. What do you think? We got more snow than you. Can't even get back here with a truck if I wanted to. I mean, the quad might make it by itself, but it wouldn't hold a uh, haul a log, a uh, lo load of logs. <sighs> Can you see it? Can you see it? Looks pretty clear. You see it there? I would say it's uh, probably 30 foot tall. I'm missing the top. The top's over on the ground right there. But there it is. Gonna break her in. You guys better thank him again with an iron oak sawmill or something like that. I'll get your name right. Sorry about that though, if I said it wrong. I'm gonna break in a brand new chain, half chisel, and a brand new bar, light and tough. for a minute.
I hope it doesn't hit that other oak tree by it. What do you think, folks? Am I too far away? Should I put the camera a little closer? Or does it look okay? Does that look okay to you, Tom Waldo? Can you see me? What do you think, guys? Richie Outdoors, can I handle this? Is it gonna get hung up in that other oak tree? All right, guys. <sighs> Wish me luck. See if it's any sharper than my chains. this notch. Now does having a sharp chain make a difference folks? What do you think? What do you think? We're gonna buck it up. Was I too high on the back cut? Was I too high on the back cut? Look at those chips. What do you think logger ale? You see them chips? Is that acceptable? Or was there something wrong? Oh man, I wish I would have laid some logs under it. Now I'm risking hitting the dirt. But Larry Cluck, I think it's okay. I think we got it. Well, let's buck it up. Too much bypass of the notch. I know and it's about 50-50. You think I should go about 30-60, you know, 30-70? But uh, it's got some hinge wood on there. Hey, you want some bonus footage? I'm bucking it up. I might as well, but I'm not moving it. But you can just see, bucket. He says bucket. I say F it. Let's do it. Let's get it done. We ain't out here to play games. We'll get the top later. But this is gravy train. This is what I want. You know, I'm gonna cut the stump off later when the snow's gone. But uh, I'm gonna cut the top end of it off where it's jagged for boiler wood. Ugh. My damn chaps are falling off. I guess I gotta get them tighter. This is like at the borderline of our property. 
Larry's never cut, Larry Cluck's never cut wood in the snow. Never seen a video of him cutting in the snow. Ugh. That's about 30 foot, 30 foot I'd say. fun cut with a sharp chain but you know I can't tell when I break through but when you start seeing sparks uh, then you pretty much know you're hitting the dirt I try not to those are some nice 16 inches right there though check that out Oh. Uh -huh. 
guys a different angle for the rest of it. I hope you're enjoying the show. Hope you're enjoying the show. I know Leonard in New Ze Zealand is when he watches the replay. It's like living the dream is enjoying it.
Hey, you know, uh, you know when the wood chips turn go from red to black, you know you're in the dirt. I did that a couple times. I want to show you something else. So, check that out. All gravy train. I'd say there's a full quad, quad trailer load right there. It's like half a truck load. That didn't take very long. But one thing about new chains, anybody's ever broke one in, they'll tell you that it gets loose real quick. See how loose that is? I don't like it being that loose when it hangs out but it just gets stretched out. So I'd need to retighten if I was gonna use it. But I think it went, it went pretty good. Uh, thanks Brock. You know, I'll, I'll definitely be using it more on uh, videos. Uh, I was impressed with it. Like I say, I know the uh, full, full chisels faster, but it also gets dull faster. So you'll be seeing it in more videos and and I'll just give my assessment on it and you guys watch and you tell me what you think. Like I say, he's at B Ray Farms in Manchester, Michigan. And that, that is what he sent me today. Two chains and uh, this bar. Put this on the side. You can see it. See, that's the bar. So I don't know. Are you guys impressed with it? Do you think it did? Do you think it did better than my uh Grinder sharpen chains? Let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna cut the stump later. I don't feel like digging the snow out, getting down there and cutting it. It can wait. None of this stuff is moving until the, so uh, the snow's gone. So I'm a little out of breath. I mean, the snow's damn near knee deep. It's almost as bad as the winter 2013, 2014. We had more snow in 2014. 2015 was pretty bad too, but I ain't working in this. You know, it's just not practical. Can't get through, gonna get stuck. More work than worth. You ever heard me say that before? Bet you Ted's heard me say that before. I'll turn you around so you can see, you can see the snow. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't have did that. If it wasn't, uh, I got bribed. So like I say, I'm not afraid to be bribed, but we got it done. I hope you enjoyed that part of the video. If I earned it, I think I earned it. <sighs> but yes, sales are gonna be picking up good. Yeah, yeah, you think it cut good, Larry Evans? Oh, hey, thanks Adventure Roads. You doing a giveaway today? Wants to see some of that fat wood your buddy hooks you up with. Uh, you need to make some, make me some waffles. Oh, uh, I'll put this away. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty good day. Like I say, I, I, I picked up a new customer. If uh, you didn't see the beginning of the video, I called a customer and he didn't like the price, but I unleashed the JPF charm and he ended up buying a, uh, buying a half quarter truckload or half quarter firewood from me. But yeah, the, uh, the king said he's got to go back to work. So we got to put all his tools back in there. <sighs> Set this right here for now. I'm gonna put it put it back in the back in the in the bathroom. Although the heat's not working because our pipes are froze. I hope it gets above freezing in here so it doesn't, all this uh, snow on it and water doesn't freeze. But it's not warm. I mean, normally it's heated in there, so it's been so cold. 
that uh, everything's froze. But heat is on the way. Heat is on the way. I'm glad everybody enjoyed that. Uh, at least I hope, I hope everybody did. Might go back in the house for a minute. They're about an hour and a half long. But uh, we'll go back in the house and chat with it for a minute, but we gotta wrap things up. Hopefully everything's still running in the house. I don't know if my computer, if uh, the screensaver locked up on it. I don't know. I'd like to go out, go through and uh, deliver or uh, get wood for my mom, but I gotta wait for the snow to go down. This is the latest load the riffraff brought me. And so I tell, you know, some of these pieces are not dry. So, wasn't too happy with this. Uh, I mean, the woods, the pieces on top look dry. I don't mind a couple semi-season ones, but I, I'm gonna have to get Darren over here and get some dry stuff on top of this. So I don't know how good that's gonna burn. That's not gonna burn very well. You can see we're starting to get low, coming into the end, end of February, but I think the, the king's gonna donate that stuff over there. So, of course we got this stuff. There's Fuzzy Butt. Yeah, oh, I, I think Jeremiah Hossley said, yeah, we have, a, we have a pet cemetery right over there and last week's tree fell in it. He's like, oh, Fuzzy Butt will be there someday. So I got a kick out of that comment. And he's just sniffing around out here. He does look like a coon, doesn't he? Kick all this. Let's see, any more calls for wood? No calls. Okay. Let's see how the fire's doing. It was 65 when I first came up here, and we got her up to we got her up to 68. We just with this wood heat. Oh, it's still on there. Laptop's still working. What did you do with my chair, Grandma? Let oh, me put it over there. You might want to shut the TV off for a minute, please. Let's see. We'll talk to you guys for a minute. I just gotta get situated. Grandma thought I was, she thought I was done in here. Not quite, not quite yet. Just worked up my appetite for venison steak, which is for lunch today. You want, you want some, Tom? You like venison? I know a lot of people here said they do. So, I get situated. We'll talk to you here for a minute. But it's about 11.30 now. I put this other, this other full chisel chain out there with my other ones. But I'm interested to see what your comments say. Check this out. I'll talk to you for a second. But uh, probably at like 90 minutes. I'm not sure where we're at now. I think it was about 80. You know, maybe go a few more minutes. But, uh, uh, sorry, I, get... I don't know. The, the chat froze. Let me, I got to find it. Oh, guess what? I'm gonna hit the like. I'm like number 58, folks. We had over 100 people watching at one time. And that's what they like when we're out, we're out in the woods working, but you see how I struggle doing that and then have to pick them pieces up through the snow and it's not even dry. It's stuff that I can't sell until the fall. Or I, I guess if somebody ordered it early and did the drying, I could cut that up. 
<coughs> Let me, uh, I'm going to restart this because the chat, the chat, uh, was gone. So I can't see what, it's like froze up. There, there's the new chat. All right. Uh, Iron Arkansas milk coffee. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks for the super chat. You know, I mean, it's good wood and you guys got to see it work. And I know you, you entertain these folks. Uh, by doing that. I'm sure they're very much appreciative of you. Although now I, that, that was one of my videos I was going to do. Now I got to think of a new one for, for next week. And like I say, it gets harder and harder to come up with new video ideas, but it was worth it. And, uh, but I, I'll probably take it down to Darren's next week. Cause he's, he's he wants to show me his new honey hole. He just said, it's just a gold mine. He said in like, one area, there's like 60 trees on the ground and it's all black locusts with no bark. Started to freeze back up. We get outside. We gotta keep it next to the fire. See what else people are saying. Yeah, I know. Hitting the dirt. Sometimes Wesley, I, <coughs> you know, <coughs> I like laying out uh, saplings, you know, about this big, just to keep it off the ground. It'd be nice to have a tractor that lifts it up, like a lot of guys do with their skid steers or excavators or whatever, just to get it off the ground, because that does make it easier. It's better on your back, more ergonomic and whatnot. But I'm sure I hit it a couple times. Yep. Thank, yeah, I'm hoping to get a new truck soon too, Iron Oak. Um, I, I think my, and people always ask me this, which I, I haven't seen any questions today, but I'm sure people did. But my, uh, the truck fund between what people have donated and what I have saved up is over $4,000 right now. But I will have to buy more, as you can see, Bay One's starting to get a little low. Um, I'll get some from Darren, maybe some from Herb, give Jeff a call, I'll have him come down. But so, it, I mean, it's going to be like two steps forward, one step back, two step forward, one step back, because I got to buy the wood. You know, I'm the middleman. If you watch the video on the other channel, you've seen how I can arrange for Darren to do deliveries direct. And uh, a lot of people make comments saying, oh, you, you know, that will never work because people will start undercutting you, know, getting the people's names and numbers, and then cutting the middleman out, which, see, the thing is, Darren enjoys doing it, because I, I find the customer, I arrange everything, all he's got to do is get it produced, go over there and deliver it, he doesn't have to deal with the people, they're all ready to pay him, and uh, he's in and out, and then I, the other thing about it is, I give him the deliveries that are down by him, but I charge, the, the price is quoted from, if the wood came from here, so if it's a 50, you know, normally my minimum delivery fee is $25. I should only charge them 25. But I'm charging them 50 and Darren gets 100% of that. So it all in all, it works. It's working out good, but he's only got that little area to cover where I would need like 10 people sp evenly spaced around me. It, it really isn't practical. You know, I'm going to get the truck and just do it myself. Just have people bring me logs. I'll do the splitting and the delivering. But when I can make it out, make it work for him, then I'll do that. Oh, you like the wood stove? Yep. Hey, Craig Wilson, what's going on? You out? You're out making a delivery. And uh, Corey Classman's joining the show. I want to go watch this show, Corey. Go blue, go blue. But one thing I am gonna do. I'm starting to get this five o'clock shadow. You see that? And it, it's like 90% white, so they call me Santa. They call me Santa. It's gone today. I know lumberjacks are supposed to have beards, but I'm over it. Especially when you got to wear the stupid mask when you go inside somewhere. Yep, super chats to the truck fund. And Dalton, uh, thank you, Dalton, for the uh, super chat, uh, for, and that's for the truck fund. I appreciate that. I didn't, uh, you know, now I can go back and look and see see who did it. So thank you, Dalton. Yeah, yeah, oh, I, I am, Ted. I, 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 all the money that's in, the, that people sent me uh, on um, PayPal is still in that account. Although nobody's sent any there in like a, a week. I, I was thinking about just cashing it out just in case something happens. And, uh, you know, you know, with hackers nowadays that they get in there and they take all that money. I, I, I would cash it out and then put it in a separate spot from where 
my my working funds are and where the truck funds go and and I definitely keep it separate for sure hi Roy Hoffman oh you're out in Idaho guess guess where Stacy's at she's in Idaho too you got 81 watching Uh, what's the, the word of advice, Wesley? Uh, less horizontal of the ball. Uh, yeah, especially in the snow. Yeah, I mean, that, and people always see me rocking it. Well, if I, you know, use the dogs and just went like this, the, the tip's going to go right into the dirt. So that that's why I, I try to do it the other way. What's he, what's he doing? He's, this is all new to him. He's checking things yeah, out. Yeah, cat's, the cat's sniffing around the... Uh, around the tripod base. Oh, really, Iron Oak? Uh, that's good. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't mind it being there. You know, uh, it, that, that is like one thing I worried about because I my uh, my checking count had been hacked before from using, like, the, the pay, pay at the pump. They steal your number there, and uh, they, they got out, like, $17, and then all of a sudden they tried to take 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. The bank luckily stopped it. I've twice I've had to have a, a new debit card issue because of that. All right, see you later, Dalton. Take care. Thanks again for the super chat. <clears throat> yeah, 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 Craig. It, it, that's good advice. <sighs> Solid ice. Thank you. Break it up, turn it into a slushy. I left it out in the barn last night. How's the fire doing? Think we should put another log in. What's that looking like? Too bad more people in Texas didn't have uh, real firewood fireplaces. You know, I'm sure they got the gas ones in all them houses down there, but nobody's got firewood. They could be heating with that. But, you know, they figured it with uh, this global warming that uh, it would never get this cold down there. Hey, Dave, Bells Isle, thank you. Uh, truck fund. All right. We got you. We'll get, we'll get you taken care of. Thank you again, Dave. Appreciate that. Like I say, uh, we've been going for about an hour and a half, and uh, that's about maybe 10 more minutes the battery's going to be shot. So I'm going to have to end it, but I do appreciate that, Dave. Yeah, a thousand bucks in China. It, yeah, I thought, ask, ask uh, Brady West about that. I thought what a thousand bucks will buy made in China. Charlie, Charlie knows him. They, you thought they bought a Buick? But I like how this hat this hat matches. I mean, see, I got a haircut a week ago or two weeks ago, so it's not a big. Uh, and you see, the king shaved all his hair off the other day, so it, it, his head's going to be a little cold. Hopefully, he can uh, help me with that delivery I got before he puts his uh, truck back together. But. Uh, the guy wants a half cord. He's in Alto, which is near the Ford Airport. It's about 30 miles away, so it's $50 delivery fee. That's all day long. And now Darren's going to have to bring it all the way up here. Or what we would do the other delivery or first. I think maybe Darren can help me with it tomorrow. I'll have to check with him. If you, I don't see Flick Boogers, but it's, it's nice out. He might be out cutting more gold or mining for gold because he gets his surgery on Tuesday for his broken finger. So he needs to get that taken care of, but he's a tough guy. He's, he's working, uh, working, working through it. Yeah, Ed, I'm looking forward to playing some golf. I, it, I definitely, definitely want to get out. I just ordered some new Pro V1 golf balls. And, uh, but I don't like going unless it's, if it's below 60 degrees. I usually wait, wait until May before I get out for the first time. I know there's some hardcore guys that go out there that as soon as the course is clear, yeah, you know, but it's like rocks. If it gets down to the 20s and the, and the fairways, you know, rock hard. 
That's no fun. And I don't like wearing sweaters. I like wearing t-shirts when I golf. Oh yeah, they definitely. Darren said, you know, he's he's taking classes to be HVAC uh, technician, but he said he's still going to do firewood on the side for extra money. We'll see if that actually happens. If he starts working sixty hours a week, you know, doing that. But um, in the meantime, while he's going to class, he's getting unemployment. But that three hundred bucks a week doesn't pay his bills, so he's he's enjoys the arrangement that we have. He's happy. I'm happy. Customers are happy. I mean, what more can what more do you expect? And uh, I had a guy this morning tell me, "Oh, that that locust isn't dry." I mean, the trees have been down for like ten years or more that it doesn't rot, and he's saying it's not dry. And, and I've like tested them with the moisture meter; it's like eighteen percent on the inside. This is how I've been doing it for the last eight years, and nobody complains that it doesn't burn. <clears throat> now I know there is some stuff that I've said. Well, here I'm out. This is all I got. Take it or leave it. It's not quite dry, but this is what you got. I, if I know it's not quite dry, I will let them know. But if they want to sit for six months or a year, they need to start getting it early and uh, doing the, the drying part because that's the easy job. What you just see me do out in the woods, that's the hardest part. That and, and then li lifting the pieces up into the quad trailer and then having to unload them and split them and pick them back up again. And So that that's the hard part. Letting it sit and dry in your property is just fine. Easy. Yeah, I know, I know, man. I, 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 I try not to do it, but you know how it is when you get towards the end of the, I, I don't know if you've ever cut before, but when you get towards the end and you're pushing on it and then all of a sudden you don't know, it just goes through and there's nothing stopping it, but the, the dirt, <clears throat> I haven't heard from Mike uh, once in a while. It, his wife, I got his wife on my Facebook once in a while. She'll say hi to me, but I haven't heard anything on him. Probably still collecting unemployment. Um, I know his he had problems with his truck that broke down, so he couldn't work anyway. But now you can't can't work at all. It's like, but he missed a lot of good time where he could have made some easy money, you know. But uh, it's his choice, man. It, it, if he wants to work, he knows where I'm at and he knows uh, what I want. Just go through this, check out some of the uh, chat there. My, yeah, prayers for those in Texas, yep. My sister lives down there, or half-sister. She's in San Antonio. I guess her pipes burst, and they didn't have power and, and whatnot. So they're not they're not used to this uh, uh, cold weather. I don't mind it. We're used to it. We're, we, we're set up to deal with it. I don't like it. I don't like this much snow. I don't mind the cold. I'd, I'd rather go out in the cold and cut like today than uh, in, at 90 degrees. Yeah, I know. Well, Al, did you see when I cut that, uh, when I started with it, when I made the first cut on the uh, the notch, it went through it fast, and it was cutting great. But a couple times I noticed I go down red, 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 black. Oops. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I, I cut back on the throttle, it, and uh, it, it not push as hard, and, and just try to use the tip of the saw just to go through. But uh, I thought that bar did good. I mean, way better than the 20 the incher that I had on there before. I mean, I'm sure Ted's happy to you and Log Logger Al where you cut and all of a sudden the chain starts going like this, the saw, and then it just like gets binded up because it's like trying to make a turn when it should just be going 90 degrees through it each time. Yep, spring and fall is the best, but the problem with the fall is the deer season. Can't get out in the woods, but I'm having venison for lunch, and so, uh, you know, I don't mind deer, deer hunters, as long as they hook me up with some, uh, with some venison. Yeah, yeah, I know, uh, yeah, Steve, right, I know, three quarters of the way through and roll it over. I, I couldn't have rolled that log over it in the snow today, I mean, it was, it, it was, the, the, the diameter of the log was like this. And the, the snow was even is even uh, bigger than that. But yeah, I, I do do that too. We use the camp hook and roll it, and then zip nip it up to the bottom. But today, I just had to just go straight through. It, when I can't get it 
iron stuff, like lay down logs so it's off the ground. I know that works, but today wasn't going to happen. I was, I had to do it how I did it today. Yep. <clears throat> See you later, Wesley. Yeah, like I say, I, I'm okay with constructive criticism, but man, if you go onto my Facebook, Joe's Premium Firewood video, or Joe's Premium Firewood, and read the comments there, man. They're just like, you're going to die. You're an idiot. Sell your saw. You can't do anything right. Yeah, you stupid. And just, is that constructive criticism? <clears throat> is the side, the side plate, you, you talking about the bar? Um, I'm not, uh, Bill, Buck and Billy Ray said it's because of the bar. If something's like not uh, 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 true or sound or whatever word to use. It causes it to curb like that. Oh, uh, Joe's show is over. Is it a battery die? Well, it has been 15 minutes, so... Yeah, well, I probably should wrap things up here. Um, like I said, it's been another good show. I mean, I wasn't planning on working today, but, uh, you know, Iron Oak Sawmill, uh, he hooked us up. I don't know if you got videos. Uh, do you uh, have videos on there we can check out? Because I might go to your page and check them out if you're still here. On the cutting tooth, eh, I, I, I don't know, I'm not sure what that is, but, uh, <clears throat> Al, that, why it does that. But, yeah, like I say, I, I want to get ready for the game. Oh, somebody calling for firewood? Let's answer it. Let's do another call. Wireless caller. 269 area code. Let's unleash the JPF charm. Hi, this is Joe. Yeah, I got firewood. What you need? Oh, you got wood stove? <clears throat> Where are you located? Ashima, okay. That's a, oh, that's a good spot. Um, are you familiar with a black locust? Firewood, that's hardwood. It's one of the hottest burning ones there is. Oh, yeah, it, Google it. It's, uh, it's one of the best, and uh, one of my log players got tons of it. Um, how much are you looking to get? Well, uh, I'm not, I sell it by the truckload, but if, if it comes out to the cord price, it, it's uh, about um, 400 a cord. <clears throat> so that doesn't include delivery either. It, it, like the wood is cut like uh, six, 16 inches, 16 inches long and split um, like four to six inches at range. There will also be some limbwood in there. We usually cut limbwood, you know, or, you know like skinny trees uh, down to about two inches in diameter, two, three inches in diameter, up to about five inches in diameter. And pieces over five inch get like split in half. And, and the bigger they are, the more hits we do on the splitter. Uh, um, well, it was, uh, for, for a, a thrown in level truckload, which is basically a face cord, it, it would be a, a 125, not including delivery. Uh, it would, and you said, Ashram, about, about where at? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, or like near Ninth Street. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it would be uh, uh forty dollars. Yeah, and that doesn't include stacking. Would you need it to be stacked? Okay. Okay. Um. It, are you uh, so you uh, go with that price? Are you you okay with the price? Uh, might be able to do it today. Um, one of my log suppliers, uh, it, the the guy that I've been buying off of, he he could deliver directly to you. My truck died about a month ago, so I've been having him do the deliveries. So um, I would have to get back to you. Uh, is this your cell number? Okay, um, I will. Uh, I will text you. Get your address. 
and then get with him and see when he can uh, we get when he can deliver to you, and uh, and then get back to you. Like I said, it'd be a face cord, which is it would take three loads like that to be a full cord. If that's what you were initially asking about when you said cord, or were you actually talking about a face cord? You were talking about a face cord. Yeah, a full cord is three times the amount of wood as a face cord. So it. It, four foot by eight foot is what you would get by 16 inches long stack yeah pro about 200 pieces of wood right and, and black locusts burn so long and hot that uh, you won't go through it um, uh, very fast so it it, sh it it burns hot and long so it, yeah yeah see yeah, he's helping me with the delivery up here tomorrow, so uh, he might be available today. I'll just have to call him, but usually he's really good and on top of it. And uh, but I would have to coordinate it with you, and then maybe have him him get a hold of you directly and, and figure out what time would be good. So, um, what was your name again? Larry. Okay, Larry, I will uh, send you a text here in a few minutes, and uh, just to show you a picture of, like what you'd be getting, and then and then. Uh, I'll get with Darren and we'll set it up. Okay, okay thanks, Larry. Yep, yeah, bye. That's how you get it done, folks. That's how you run a firewood business. I don't even have to leave the house. So I make my, my commission, which is about 40, 50 bucks or of wood. See, he don't pay me in wood. And that's how you do it. And he's in Hashimo. Guess what? That's five miles from Darren. And he's going to get paid $40 to deliver it. That's how it's done, folks. I hope you're learning. Anybody learning anything? Uh, let's see. See, that's a, we figured that out. See, that's how we do it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It, you know, and, and there's the thing. He said, how much for a cord? Well, it's $400, $400 for a cord if we got it stacking in there. And then he was like hesitant. I'm just like, I figured he wasn't going to buy. Oh, wait. And he goes, well, how much for a truckload? Oh, well, that's how much I wanted in the first place. Don't say a cord if you mean a face cord. But nobody knows. That's you know. I, that's why I always have to tell them. And, and they freak out. I, and I always have to ask them. Like, some people are hardcore, no wood. But yeah, of course, that's what I want. And then other people are like, huh, what? What do you mean? There's, I thought a cord was just a four foot by eight foot stack. No, full cord. A full cord is, is 24 feet by four foot tall. A face cord is just one row, four foot by eight foot by the length which is generally 16 inches. But you see, I have to explain it. But, uh, <clears throat> all right. We got a little bonus footage there. Another, so just in this, let me recap. Today, I, I uh, opened up a package that came from uh, B-Ray Farms, Manchester, Michigan, from Brock. He sent me a 20 inch bar and two, uh, and two chains, a full chisel, this one, and, uh, uh, a 20 inch bot or a half chisel and then I went out uh, and then I uh, took took a I called a customer that had left a message he's gonna end up buying a half cord then just uh, then I went out and cut up cut down a, a tree uh, oak tree with the new bar and chain and bucked it up and came back in here got another call answered it sold another truckload that's how I do it sold two truckloads didn't leave the house but I will, I uh, probably will, I will help Darren with the, the any deliveries that are north of here, because Darren's south of me, I'll help him with. But the ones that are right by him, there's no reason for him to come pick me up and uh, like split the wood up here, then drive back down there, and then have him have to drive me all the way back here. He's going to do it directly. So, all right, guys, I'm ready to watch some uh, Michigan kick some butt, kick some Ohio butt, win, get that Big Ten title. But uh, we're going to wrap her up, guys. Appreciate everybody for the super chat. I hope everybody had a good time. Probably make a new video tomorrow. And uh, be back here next Sunday. So with that, buddy, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. We'll see you guys at the next one.